kids and welcome to the puppets of praise yep we're so glad that you are joining us today yes, we've right. got a great show in store for you yes we do our theme today is thanks Ooh. and we should always be willing to give thanks to those who do things for us that's right and especially to god oh especially to god you know you need to thank god for your food and your clothes and everything that you have. How about feathers? Well, that too, especially. That's right. If you're a bird. Oh, that's what I am. Well, good. God is so good, and he wants us to be thankful for what he's given us. That's right. You know, we're going to learn about being thankful and telling people that we're thankful for what they have done for us. Yeah, that's a good idea. You know, when someone gives you something, yeah. what do you say? Well, you say, thank you. That's right. But we got to remember that and not forget that we should always be thankful for what has been given to us. That's right. Say, does that include the Cleveland Indians? Good. <laughs> Let's go to a song, and it's called Thank You, Lord. Hey, this is a good song. I heard it in rehearsal. Have you heard it? I want to thank you, Lord. You've been so good to me. Been so good to me. Been so good to me. I want to thank you, Lord. You've been so good to me. I want to stand up and thank you, Lord. I want to thank you, Lord. You've been so good to me. Been so good to me. Been so good to me. I want to thank you, Lord. You've been so good to me. I want to lift up my hands to you. I want to thank you, Lord. You've been so good to me. Been so good to me been so good to me i want to thank you lord you've been so good to me i want to shout my thanks to you i want to thank you lord you've been so good to me been so good to me been so good to me i want to thank you lord You've been so good to me, I want to dance around for joy. I want to thank you, Lord. You've been so good to me, been so good to me, been so good to me. I want to thank you, Lord. You've been so good to me, I want to stand up and thank you, Lord. I want to lift my hands to you. I want to shout my thanks to you. I want to dance around for joy. All right. Hey, I will I like that song. Yeah. That's a good song. You know, being thankful for what God has given to us. Yep. Because God is so good. Yeah, he's a good God. And he loves all you kids out there. Oh, yeah, he, all those kids out there. You know, no, no matter who you are, no matter where you live, God loves you. Yep. And he's got a plan for your life. That's he's right. already made it out. Yep. He's got it wrote down, too. That's right. He loves you. And now we're going to have a little story about 
It's called Out to Lunch. We're going to have lunch? Nope. Oh, shucks. I thought that was a benefit. Nope, the others do. Well, they do? Yep. Oh, okay. Maybe next time. Yeah, okay. But here we go. Oh, hey, do you serve crabs here? Well, I guess so. We'll serve anyone. Oh, they're uh, right. You can sit here. Okay. Are there eggs on your menu today? Mm, nope. I wiped them off this morning. Um, are you ready to order now? Yes. I would like chocolate ice cream sundae with lots of nuts and whipped cream. Um, do you want a cherry on top? No, I'm on a diet. Um, and how about you, sir? Oh, I'd like a cup of coffee and a muttered buffin. Um, don't you mean a buttered muffin? No, I mean a muffered button. Um, how about a donut hole instead? Yes, that'll be fine. Oh, and by the way, make it black. I'm sorry, sir, but we don't have black holes here. Um, I think you can get them at a place down the street. It's called the Bermuda Triangle. I meant the coffee. Our coffee doesn't have holes. It's freshly ground each morning. Yeah, and I'll bet it tastes like mud. Um, will that be all? Yeah, that does it. This is a nice restaurant, Reggie. When I was here last time with my folks, I ordered a fresh egg, and I got the freshest egg in the world. And I ordered orange juice, and it was the freshest orange juice in the world. Yeah, I know. I ordered a small steak. Speaking of eggs, that reminds me. Do you know where what you get when you get cross a dog with a chicken? No, what? A pooched egg. <laughs> oh, here comes our order. Hey, what's the matter, Susie? Do you have a headache, or do your eyebrows itch? Or is there something under the table? No, Reggie, I was giving thanks for my food. You mean right here in the restaurant? Sure. But in front of all these people, aren't you embarrassed? I'd be more embarrassed if I didn't. What? I don't get it. Well, you see, Reggie, I'm a Christian, and Jesus said if anyone was ashamed of him on earth, then he would be ashamed of that person in heaven. Wow, I never heard that before. I guess there's a lot of things I don't know about being a Christian. Do you think you could tell me more? Sure, I'd be glad to. Well, let's go back to your house so we can talk about this. Are you finished eating? Yes, I'm done. Let's go. Hey, maybe I'll even come to church with you this Sunday. That would be super. Did you forget something? Um, you want me to pray right now? No, Reggie, just pay. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. All right, well, did you learn anything? Yeah, I learned it's important to have lunch. Yeah, it's good. No, it's, you, you should always pray before you eat, too. That's right. Yep, let's say thanks to God, you know. Yeah, and God said that to bless your food, you know, before you eat it. That's right. Because you, you just don't know what's, what might be there, you know, if there's something bad. You know, God's said prayer will cover it and right. protect you, yep. keep you safe. For sure. So be thankful for your food. Oh, I always am. How yeah. about you? All the time. Well, that's good. It's important to pray for your food. Yep. What and do we got coming up next? Next, we're going to have a song. <gasps> oh, I like this one. Which one is it? Oh, um, let's see. Well, we're talking about thanks, so... Is, is it about thanking God? Yep, it's called Thank You, Jesus. Close enough. You're a pretty smart bird. Thank you. I'm not as dumb as I look. Well, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Yep, hope you like it. Thank you, 
Jesus, you saved my soul. Thank you, Jesus, you cleansed, you made me whole. Thank you, Jesus, for all you've done. Thank you, Jesus. You saved my soul Thank you, Jesus You cleansed, you made me whole Thank you, Jesus For all you've done Thank you, Jesus You saved my soul Thank you, Jesus You cleansed, you made me whole Thank you, Jesus For all you've done Thank you, Jesus Thank you, Lord. All right. Kids, what? are you learning anything today? They look like they are. Yeah. It's important to be thankful. Remember to thank your mom when she cooks your dinner. And thank your dad for what he's done for you, you know. Make sure you thank everybody. Should they thank mom when she cooks spinach and liver? Well, sure. Oh, okay. Mom doesn't do it to be mean, you know. Oh. It's really to help you. Well, I don't know about that. Because it's supposed to give you nourishment. It and is? Strength. It is? Don't you want to be strong? Well, I guess if Popeye can get strong eating spinach, I can too. Well, sure. <laughs> and remember that, kids. Be thankful for what God has given to you. Yep. And now we're going to have another demonstration about thanks. Ooh, is it another skit? Yep, here we go. Okay. Billy, it's time for you to put your toys away and to clean your room. Aw, oh, Dad, do I have to clean my room? Yes, you do. It's almost time for dinner. Uh, hey, Spike, will you help me clean my room? Oh, sure, Billy. I help mess it up. It's about time you cleaned your room, Billy. Hi, Spike. What are you doing? Oh, hi, Susie. I'm helping Billy clean up his room. I'll get the broom. Okay. Um, Billy. Yeah? Don't you think you're overdoing it, the cleaning? I mean, like, with this broom. Well, my room needed a good cleaning anyway. I think when you asked Spike to clean up, he was thinking of cleaning up the mess he helped make, not a year's worth of clutter that you made. Oh, besides, it's more like three years of clutter. That's when we moved in here, remember? Well, Spike, we're all done. Let's go, okay? Okay. Billy. What? Aren't you forgetting something? Um, everything's put away for once. Don't you think you should thank Spike for helping you? Why? He made the mess too. For the last three years. Oh. Yeah, I never thought of that. Oh, hey Spike, thanks for helping me clean my room. Oh sure, Billy. No problem. Can I share something with you from the Bible, guys? Oh, sure. Yeah. You see, there were ten lepers. Leopards? Did uh -oh. he attack someone? Lepers, not leopards. 
they had a disease called leprosy. It was a terrible disease where you would have red sores all over your body and stuff. People would die from it, and it was very contagious, so they would have to leave their family and friends, or others would get the disease too. Ah, bummer, man. Yeah. Well, these ten lepers saw Jesus, and he knew that he could heal him because they had heard of him healing others. So they yelled out to Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Jesus said to them to go show themselves to the priest to show that the leprosy was all gone. Oh, wow, praise God. They left to go to the priest, but one of them ran back to Jesus and thanked him and praised God that the leprosy was all gone. Jesus said, weren't there 10 lepers healed and only one comes back to give thanks? And Jesus said to the one, rise and go your way. Your faith has healed you. So he was healed from that leprosy. And he also received new skin without any sores on his body. So he went home to be with his family. Now, do you understand why it's important to be thankful when others help you? Uh, yeah, you're right. We should always be thankful to others and to God. Thanks, sis. Hey, let's all go outside and play some ball before dinner. Yeah, let's go. Okay. All right. Boy, we can sure learn a lot about being thankful, huh? Oh, we sure can. God's been so good to us. Yep. You know, that he gave us our life. Yep. And we can be thankful with what God has given to us. And you know how we can show our thankfulness? How's that? By honoring God. Ooh, Doing that's a good what idea. His word tells us. You know what his word is? Um, let's see. Oh, the Bible. That's right. Yep. The B-I-B-L-E. Oh, that's the book for me. That's right. Remember that, kids. And remember to be thankful. Be thankful for what you have. Yep. Hey, well, you know, we should give thanks every day, not just at Thanksgiving. That's right. That's yep. very important. That's right. I'm glad you brought that up. I thought you'd like that. My fine feathered friend. Ooh, that's easy for you to say. <laughs> Remember, kids, God loves you. Yep, he sure and does. Be thankful for what God has given to you. You know, you may not have what everyone else has. Yep. But you may have some things that other people don't have, too. That's true. Be thankful for what God has given to you, okay? Yep. Well, we're out of time, so... We'll see you all later, and thank you for watching the Puppets of Praise. Bye! Hi, kids. I hope that you enjoyed the Puppets of Praise, did you? We had a good time today, didn't we? Learning about being thankful. Yeah. Are you thankful for what God has given to you? We oh. have today Maria. How are you doing today, Maria? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. How about you? Really good. Thank you. Good. So, what did you learn today, Maria? Well, I learned how important it was to be thankful. That's right. It is very important to be thankful, you know, both to, you know, the people around us. Are you thankful, Maria? Yes, when I am. When someone does something for you? Oh, always. I feel so good when somebody does something for me. I'm always thankful for that. That's right. You know, yep. it's very important. Kids, remember that. Be thankful, you know, when someone does something for you. You know, remember to say thank you. Thank you for helping me. Yep. Thank you for doing uh, this for me, you know, helping me with my school or helping me with, you know, whatever. Be thankful. Hey, you know, every day should be Thanksgiving, not just once a year. That's right. Yeah. You, know, you think about it. Sure. Being thankful to God and what God has given to us. That's right. All the time. That's right. Your freedom, you know, your parents. Yep. Be thankful. Well, I have a scripture 
Maria, would you like to hear it? Oh, sure. I, I'd like to hear it. What do you have? This is Ephesians chapter 5, and I'd like to read it to you. Okay. And it's verse 20, and it says, Giving thanks always for all things to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Wow. You know, it says for us to give thanks always and for all things. You know, what, right. you know what all means? Oh, it means everything, doesn't it? That's right. You know, that, that means the good and the bad. Did you know that? Oh, I knew that too. Did I you? just had a good feeling it was that, though. That's right. You know, we need to give thanks uh, for everything. You know, even though we have a hard time with things, God has something great in store for us. And we may go through a hard time, but be thankful you know, that you're still alive and that God is working on your behalf. Remember that, kids. God's working for you. And God's going to help you in what you're doing. That's right. Well, I think our time's up, Maria. Oh, I'm going to miss the kids until next week. Yep, but we'll see them again next week, won't we? Yes, we will. So, you kids have a good week. That's right, and we'll see you again next week on the Puppets of Praise. Bye. Bye. Do not steal, it is theirs, not yours. Do not steal, you can do without. Do not steal, you don't need their things. Do not steal, it's not yours. Do not steal, it is theirs, not yours. Do not steal. You can do without, do not steal. You don't need their things, do not steal. It's not yours, do not steal. It is theirs, not yours, do not steal. You can do without, do not steal. You don't need their do not steal, it's not yours. Hi, Vinny. How are you doing? What's it to you? What do you think? You're better than me? I know I am. Hey, guys. What's going on? You guys are friends. Why are you acting like that? Well, it could take most of the day. Maybe longer. Let's see now. All of today. Let's see. That's about eight hours. At least. And uh, five dollars an hour, that would be forty dollars. If it's not right for me, I can do. That's a good one. 
Row number 3795. I'm a soul man. I'm a soul man. Hey. Hey. Let's see. I'm not an electrician. Maybe an accountant. I can count real good. Hey, Susie. What's up with you? I need a job. You do? Yeah. Maybe two jobs. Really? Nah. Shout his honor to the Lord. 